everyone welcome to my channel so I've been meaning to shoot this video and share with you guys since a while but I was so caught up with exams before which I went to Sephora and obviously went to load crazy so I decided to share with you guys all the new stuff that I got because there were a few recent launches and uh, I thought why not just share it here swatch them and check them out because honestly since I got this this bag has been as it is I haven't touched it I haven't even checked or opened any of the items because oh well time so I decided let's do this right here right now for you guys and let's check it out so the first item I want to unbox is this gift that I got after redeeming my Sephora points and it's a set of from Clinique that has a makeup remover, it has a moisturizer and it has a mascara. It is a very cute little size. You guys can see it. And this is this tiny little cleansing oil actually. So I think I've, I've read a lot of reviews about this online and now I finally get to try it. And this is the mascara. Let me just check how the brush is. Very basic. This is how it looks like. The moisturizer and it says it's a 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. I think I really need this in the winter, so I'm going to keep this till the weather gets kind of dry, and uh, that's when I really need a lot of moisturizing. And it's a pretty decent size. So, the rest of the things I actually purchased, and I'm so excited to finally get to see all the things that I got and unbox all these goodies because you know the joy of getting new makeup is just unreal so here we go so this was uh, something that I have been wanting to get since a while my sister had this and I used it and I loved it it's the Caudalie uh, Beauty Elixir it's, it's used you can use it as like a setting spray or just like you know, hydrate yourself with this throughout the day and it really 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 keeps your skin moisturized and I've used this before so hence why I purchased it again. Next um, I'm just gonna randomly pick up stuff and uh, check it out. So this was perhaps the only skincare I got. Okay. This Oh my god, I don't know why it took me so long to finally go and go out and get this. I mean, I should have had this during the summer, but I didn't. It's okay. I'm gonna use it now because it's never too late for some other beauty nymph. So I got this in the shade Luna, and I think I also... Did I? Yes. Yep. I also got the body brush that um, Huda Beauty released with the launch of the nymph and um, I want to open it right now and actually see how the bristles are okay wow this is actually not opening okay wait because like I'm putting in the wrong plastic smooth This is the... Wow, I already got my fingerprints on it. It 
it's really smooth. Ah, it's good. And I think the kind of this kind of brush is gonna allow like a very even um, application, especially because this is mainly used for body. And now I'm gonna try this for my face very soon. I swatched this at Sephora when I was there just to make sure I should get this or the darker shade. But yeah, this is the one and okay. Let's let's open this as well. So there we go. Ouch. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad with like unboxing stuff. Wow, this is beautiful. And I just want to like swatch. This is intense. This is really thick. Well, I feel like that the samples that I tried out at um, Sephora was sort of dried out or something because this is not the kind of glow it gave me. And if you see the difference in one and the other, I mean, it just blends in. Wow. I mean, this is not the kind of thing you only use for summer. This would be great for winters as well, as it doesn't even leave your skin very dry. And it's not glittery, you know? It's not glittery so that it you know, just spreads everywhere. Not really glazed, yeah. Because I've tried a few of the other liquid highlighters and I really found them to spread everywhere because of the glitter particles in them but this one's like just a big bottle of pure liquid glow right here next I was waiting to get this and um, I swatched all of the uh, for the Beauty Neon Obsessions and this was the one I finally chose to get because the colors, especially this green, right here. The green and the pink are just, and the yellow as well. I feel like they're actually really bright and nice and they'll be great for application, yeah. I, this kind of looks too pretty for me to swatch right now, right? Yeah, I think I'm not. was um, a restock in my collection because I had this for a while and then I didn't and so I decided to get myself this really beautiful silver white glittery highlighter from Fenty Beauty it is the diamond bomb how many carrots I mean now she's also come up with the holographic type and I didn't really like that because it gives like more of a pink purple tinge but this one this one's just wow <laughs> oh my god I could eat this I've said this before and I'm saying it again I wish I could eat this this is so beautiful yes this is a bit more on the glittery side and I'm just gonna take a bit See how it comes on. It comes on really. So I got this, and I already have the Kabuki brush for this, which makes the application on the body, like on the shoulders and on the arms, if you want to, really easy. I love this one. I mean, this is something I don't want Fenty Beauty to discontinue, and I mean, <laughs> the packaging has more glitter than the product itself well, let's see what's next mm -hmm. yes the 
Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I used the normal one with the bottled one in uh, 230. And I, thought, I felt that that was a bit uh, gray for me. And I really wanted it not to be gray. So I swatched 250 and I swatched 240. And I found 240 to be like a closer shade to mine. So I got this one and uh, I mean, I think I should go wash my hands before I try swatching this. This is, seems like a bit of a smaller tube. I don't know if it's the same amount of ML. I feel like it's a little less. And although my face is darker than my arm, but you get a bit of an idea. And I know what my undertone is, so. New tubes, right? They're gonna take forever to come out. There we go. And I think that I don't wanna like overspill either. And. Yeah, I think this is gonna be perfect for my face because how I assess my foundation color, it's usually like a tone or two darker than my complexion and the color of my arm so if you see my arm still looks a bit fairer compared to the foundation that I've applied and I hope it's clear enough so yeah I guess this will this will do great for my face I mean I feel like this is exactly my complexion it's not darker it's not lighter so 240 is like a good color for me and the texture i mean it's supposed to be hydrating so only once i apply it on my face like a full coverage will i actually know how it is but yeah it feels very smooth on the skin and it it just it, it, it's, it's not drying sometimes i feel that the previous one was a bit drying so i usually mix my foundations but this one i don't think i'll need to mix it because it's very smooth it doesn't feel like you've actually applied anything and I also feel like you don't need a lot for your face so that's great so I also got another foundation from Tarte it's their new plant powered fount concealer so it can be used as a concealer and as a foundation I don't think I really swatched a lot of shades back in the store so I really hope I did end up getting the right shade if not what I usually do with my foundations is that I kind of have like a range I have dark ones I have you know and sometimes I end up getting like a lighter shade so I have like a mix and in case like just one doesn't work I usually mix like I have a small tray that I mix them in so this is the Tarte Found Concealer. It has SPF 20 sunscreen, that's great. But I anyways apply sunscreen before I walk out the house for anything, even if it's like a small run to the grocery or whatever, I always apply sunscreen. So, I mean, it's a plus. So this is how the packaging is. I feel like the packaging is really pretty. You know, with the shiny cap. It has this whole Amazonian eco-friendly look around it and okay oh. let me do this how am I supposed to do this do I ah there we go so you just twist it <laughs> and it comes out like that and then you're supposed to apply it yeah okay so I swatched the Fenty Beauty here. Wow, like my, I just realized how like my, my face is so much more tanned than my body right now. Okay. Yeah, so it locks in once you twist it. And I just want to see if this is similar or lighter or darker than um, the one that I applied earlier. Okay, it's a bit lighter, but it has a similar because you know I'm very pale so I need more of a pinkish undertoned uh, uh, foundation and 
I mean, this one's a bit more pink. It's maybe like one shade lighter, but it's still, I don't know if you can tell, but this one's still um, one shade perhaps darker than my arms complexion, which would be perfect for my face, I think. And the shade is in light medium honey, 29H. So I'm really looking forward to this because I also found that this one's not extremely full coverage, but you know, for like an everyday sort of use, if you're not like going for a full glam, you can totally get this. And once I apply it on my face fully, once I'm gonna do a look with this foundation as well and definitely review it for you guys. I really love the packaging. Next, we have this really cute brush that I got from Tarte. It's actually not for foundation, it's for setting powders. It's a powder brush. And just because it's so cute, I had to get it. I mean, I am a sucker for makeup brushes and I'm a sucker for pink. And this is both. <laughs> Whoa. It's really cute. It has. Holy shit, it's so soft. I really shouldn't be doing that. And like, I'm like already contaminating the brush. But no. You see? It's beautiful. And it's great for powders. And speaking of powders, I got the new Too Faced Born This Way compact powder. And let me just get it out. Because I usually use the Chanel compact powder which has been great like you know it's like one thing that I really like investing in because more than foundations like I just started using foundations maybe like two years ago before that I would only rely on uh, powders and I've always like I had Bobbi Brown for like a while and then I switched to Chanel and then I just stuck to that so when this came out, I was like, why not? I haven't tried the liquid foundation of this one though, but I really want to see how this is. So this is how the packaging is. It's really basic, but it's very pretty at the same time. It looks like a little cookie. And it opens like this. And this also I tried out. Okay, so oh, it comes with its own brush, but I usually don't use the puffy um, makeup sponges, not brush, sorry, yeah, makeup sponge. I mean, maybe in emergencies, but I otherwise like um, using my compacts with the brush. I feel like it's, I don't know, it's easier this way because sometimes with these kind of sponges, I feel like they kind of rub off your foundation if it's not set properly or I don't know. I'm just not comfortable, yeah. So, okay. Yeah, this is the Born This Way Compact. It's a multi-use complexion powder. And this is in the shade Golden Beige. So, let's see what we have next. Ooh. I got the Bro Styler. They just told me it had literally, like when I got this, it had just been like a day since it had launched. So I was really excited to get my hands on this and i find it really it, it's so much better i feel like than benefits previous products because i have been using those and i feel like over time like they sort of dry out and like you really need to rub them hard especially i think it's the goof proof pencil i feel like it always dries out so i kind of need to rub it on my um, hand first and then apply it on my eyebrows because then it just gets really hard to apply on the eyebrow and this is the Bro Styler. It's a waterproof wax pencil. Um, it claims to have an 18 hour wear. And this is how it looks like. It's pretty cute. Pretty basic. Again, it's like, it's a two way thing. It has this thin um, crayon pencil type of thing 
and and then it has a what does it have it has this powder type of a applicator that's the applicator and this is the cap why am i showing you guys the cap actually that's not just the cap <laughs> that has the powder inside it of course so Wash it here. Just one go, yeah. Just one swatch, and here it is. Just once, yeah. I really hope this is focusing for you guys because technical issues. So this is really great for filling um, your eyebrows because I don't know if you guys have noticed my eyebrows are like always a mess. I'm really not like. I really don't have the best eyebrows and they're not very thick but they're more widespread so for me I need something that fills up my eyebrows more than shaping them and I mean I think this does the job for sort of lining them if I have to and I'm just gonna show you guys okay yeah okay maybe like one or two applications maybe also because it's new yeah so i really feel like that the powder part is something i'm going to use a lot i think i'm just going to keep this in my bag and kind of have it on the go yeah the powder is way better than the pencil crayon for me yep and the shade is in neutral medium brown 3.5 I've been using three, but I for filling I was like maybe go a bit darker since like I've lost all my blonde hair now and I'm back to my natural black hair so I would like to keep my eyebrows a bit darker especially you know for the fall and for the winter. So that's that. Next from Benefit I also got their new I think this is their first concealer and um, it's the Boeing uh, K Class concealer. I got this in number five. I don't know I always get like sometimes I always like not sometimes most times I end up getting like the wrong shade for the concealer because sometimes my under eyes are like darker than usual sometimes they're lighter so I don't know I think this has really cute packaging if you can see it looks it reminds me of school I mean I love stationery I've always loved stationery and um, this kind of reminds me of school and all those times I used to collect like a gazillion stationary items basic applicator for like I really don't know where to swatch this anymore I need to wash off the nymph and that is the shade I got I hope you guys can see it yeah better lighting this way So if this is exactly like the shade of my hand, I will find it to be great for my for a shade as a concealer since I anyways use a lighter shade than my actual um, complexion for concealer and um, it has a bit of a pink tinge but it still sort of blends in into my skin so yeah I guess this works, this works number 5 is gonna be great and once I actually do a whole makeup look and then use this it's it claims to be um, a no caking concealer so I really hope that it lives up to that because I have a few fine lines where um, concealer usually tends to set and I hate that so if I don't bake <laughs> that's usually a common problem for me but yeah let's see if this works okay so i also got this um angled brush from sephora it's from it's from the collection of sephora's brushes because i really needed a nice contour brush that i didn't have like i do have one but i needed something of a more professional <laughs> level and so i ended up getting this one and um let me try opening it to actually 
I mean, Sephora has great brushes. They're affordable and they're nice. They do the job. I mean, I wish they were a bit fancier <laughs> because I really love fancy looking brushes. So this is, I mean, yeah. There we go. So this is how the brush is. It's a very nice angled brush and it's quite firm to even, I feel, spread out liquid contours and uh, powder contours, of course, for, for sure. Yeah. Nice feel. Next, I got a few lip products that I had my eye on for a while and uh, First one is the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. That's the packaging and this is how the lip balm looks like. And I don't know if it also plumps your lips, does it? Or is it just like a basic? luscious lip balm made with conditioning butters so it basically helps with um hydration something i will definitely need for the summers because my lips really really dry out so badly like i know i mean sorry did i say summers i meant winters yeah because <laughs> my uh, lips really dry out during the winters and i know winter is here when my lips start drying out yep so this was just an addition. The main thing that I really wanted to get from Fenty Beauty was the um, lip loving scrub stick. It's really tiny, I wish it was a bit bigger. But yeah, I, I always wanted to get the e.l.f. Cosmetics lip scrubs. They seem very nice, but I don't know. You know, I always had like, this long list of things to get and I like keep prolonging and prolonging and this is how it looks like, the lip scrub, and, oh, I thought it was, never mind, it's like a lipstick, and as usual it has the FB initials, and I don't want to apply it right now, I'm going to apply it later, and I'm probably going to like, do a video for this to actually see how it looks because I already have like lip color on and I'm going to work after I shoot this video so yeah let's save time <laughs> the next product is the um, instantly sexy lips two-faced lip injection also something that I've needed because I really like the look of my lips when they're a bit plumped up. It's a basic gloss bottle and it's a clear gel sort of gloss and although it has this holographic tinge coming into it, um, it smells kind of minty, <laughs> I thought so. So yeah, Let's see how this looks. I will check it out in another video and um, show you guys the effects of how much it actually plumps up your lips. Like probably do it before and after. So these were a few of the lip products. Lip care products more like. Uh, something that the town's been buzzing about. The Huda Beauty Life Liner. So I'll admit to myself and to you guys that if there's anything about makeup application that I'm not that great at, it's applying eyeliners. You know, like I see these tutorials where like girls just, you know, they're not even like holding their eye and they don't make it seem very difficult and they whoop, and wow, they have like the perfect wing. I don't know. I mean, I think I need like so much more practice to be able to do that. I mean, it does turn out to be well, but like the struggle behind it is only I know that and girls who can relate so very basic um, black packaging 
and the internet's been buzzing about this liner and obviously I had to get it so I think this is the um, the crayon part of it and Huda did a few tests whoa <laughs> herself on this as you can see it's pretty um, pigmented and how this doesn't even get removed after like a hundred tries <laughs> uh, oh sorry And this is the liquid part of it. Okay. Very smooth and very black. I love that. I love the fact that this um, liner is very thin. It, the brush is not very thick. So if I want to build up and have like a thick uh, eyeliner, I can, I can do that. Or if I just want like you know, a little flick, I can I can do that as well. So, the Huda Beauty Life Liner is something I definitely need in my life. Like, this is probably gonna help me um, learn quicker, more um, swift uh, eyeliner application. And uh, this is how it turned out. It's really pigmented and that's what I love because some eyeliners I've used, you know, like you use one layer and if you want to top it off, somehow the one that you applied earlier comes off as well and I don't understand how that happens so thank you Huda ouch thank you Huda for this and really looking forward to like sort of put this in my daily makeup routine like start applying eyeliner more because I feel like that's the only way I can learn to apply eyeliner more properly and more swiftly Another concealer from Huda Beauty. This is her Overachiever Concealer. Yeah. I got this in cookie dough because I felt like that was the perfect color. Previously, I had um, Sugar Biscuit and it was a bit dark for my complexion. So I would use that and I would mix like maybe Maybelline's Age Rewind Concealer or um, the NYX Concealer. I really love that one. I love both of those. So this and I really loved how this one is like how it doesn't like make your under eyes look kiki or it doesn't even like you don't need to apply a lot to have like a good coverage so I really needed another overachiever concealer and so I got this shade in um, cookie dough and um, when I swatched it yep this was like the perfect one for me and again this a little goes a long way so since I'm only swatching. This is not exactly the color of my um, uh, hand. Maybe a bit darker, but I think as a concealer, since I told you my under eyes are really hormonal, they'll get really dark sometimes, really puffy sometimes, and um, like too many concerns just for my under eyes so I think so this is this is gonna be good like if I need to top it off with the lighter concealer I think it'll be good like this is probably my complexion this is exactly because if, if I compare it with the foundations that I sw uh, swatched um, this concealer cookie dough is almost exactly like the Fenty Beauty 240 and uh, the new one that I got from Tarte so that's a great buy. Perhaps my favorite items from uh, this uh, Sephora haul are these are the Huda Beauty um, Power Bullets from her latest um, Throwbacks collection. And when I saw them online, I was just like, what is this? I need these. And I checked out the colors that I would like, uh, the brown nudes that I usually like. And so I got board meeting, I got last night, and I got game night. And this is from the previous collection that came out. Uh, it's a staycation. I couldn't get it at the time it came out, so I decided to 
stock myself up with these power bullets right now because holy shit, these are like the best. I want to really do like a nice uh, fancy look for um, like I feel like these power bullets and these lipsticks deserve like a video of their own like a separate post just for these because these are so good I've had like two of her power bullets previously and I think I mean these are like one of the best I mean I don't mind swatching them here though but honestly wow I think these colors it's it's more than like okay amazing texture yes they're they're beautiful but it's the it's the colors that I just I can't get enough of and so this one is this one's this one's last night last night <laughs> there we go it's such a beautiful brown i really don't know if this is focusing because this is like this is so pretty i don't want to swatch this <gasps> okay whatever here it goes wow Okay, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know. I'm really like a miser person when it comes to swatching these lipsticks because so this is last night and then there is board meeting and that's board meeting which again is a really pretty it's it's lighter than last night so i feel like this was when i saw it online this was like my favorite nude i guess whoa yes yes this is it this is it empathetic with swatches so i'm just gonna come up closer for you guys to see This one's last night, this one's board meeting. And then I have game night. This has a bit of a purple uh, tone in it, but still a great brown. As you can see, it's the one I just applied. The pigment and the quality of these power bullets is just amazing. And this is staycation from, this is not from the throwbacks collection. So you see it's, it's much lighter. I'm just gonna switch this here. Yeah, this is like super nude, but super amazing. As you can see, this one, staycation, last night, board meeting, game night. Uh, I think these are one of those lipsticks that I'm gonna keep restocking. I really love the packaging and I love the colors. These are definitely one of those lipsticks I'm gonna keep restocking and I'm so glad that they exist. So this was it for my recent Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm really looking forward to creating crazy ass looks with these new products that I got and I'm just trying them all out. I'm gonna set them up first and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and really like these products because some of them are like latest launches and if you guys uh, want to know more about them I will be posting looks with uh, using these makeup uh, products and um, yeah so stay tuned for more and thank you for watching what <laughs> hello that's my dog I don't know what he's doing here and how he got here so yeah bye